Thorgrim Grudgebearer coming up next on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box with no pitcher? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, everybody. My name is Trevor Slescu. I sell Games Workshop stuff at Monster Hobbies. <laughs> I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada, and today I've got another golden oldie moldy uh, model kit, dwarfs. This is Thorgrim a Grudge Bearer, the most important dwarf king that ever existed. And I forgot his name, I had to look it up on the box. Oops. Anyway, no. <laughs> but seriously, this is a cool kit. It's actually a resin recast. Citadel fine scale <laughs> and we're just gonna go down and take a look at old Thorgrim and if you had come and played in our tournament last week I hope you were one of the guys that won it and if not I hope you were one of the guys that had a lot of fun in it because I put a lot of effort into these tournaments and I always want to make sure that everybody has a good time so anyway thank you for coming out and now let's go down and check out who's in this box because it's not a what and here we go looking at another great model the Thorgrim grudge bearer the big dwarf lord the biggest dwarf lord that ever existed and now let's open up his nondescript boring looking box here <laughs> again if you've been following this series you know this is another one of these citadel fine cast ones that came out just at the end of the end times Okay, so it comes again in one of these big plastic boxes with the sealed on lid. But before we do that, I actually found his instruction sheet jammed in the bottom of the box. So this is how he goes together. High King Thorgrim Grudgebearer. And this guy still exists in Age of Sigmar. If you go look at the compendium rules, he's a, was a dwarf warden king on throne of power is something they call them now but this is how we all goes together which I'm glad I found these instructions because when I was looking at this like a couple weeks ago at home it was like oh how am I gonna get them together but that's how he goes together and that's what he looks like at the end so quite a cool model if you have any of the old dwarf um, books from 8th edition and, be and back you can see what he looks like painted and assembled or just look at my thumbnail I'm gonna find a picture of it. okay so let's just take a look at the throne so it comes on this long base which if you wanted Age of Sigmar you put them on a round base of course oval and here is the seat of the throne and keep in mind that at one point this was a white metal model then they went to Citadel Finecast, and it's resin now, so you wouldn't need crazy glue to put it together. There we go. And get the focus back. So look at all the nice little detail in there. Looks very nice. And then these are the dragon skis that the throne would sit on. And that the four little dwarfs are lifting. See, there's their hands molded into the skis. So this would be the outside right and the outside left, somewhere in there. Hands going to the outside. Nice detail. Nice detail. There's the back of the throne. So this part would be out here. You know, it's not going to go together unless I clip it. Yeah, just paint that thing solid gold. Rub a little Agrath Earth shade into there and then paint gold, more gold over the top. And there you go. Quite nice. Now let's take a look at the bearers of the throne. And there they are there. That's the backs. And there they are from the front. You can see the anguish they've got carrying their king around, but they are happy to do it. And they have these hammers. And there's the other side. 
I guess they're all individual. They don't look like they're identical in any way. So they all have their own little unique personalities. And they look pretty cool. So the skis would be somewhere on the flat parts here. Something like that. Yep, fun to paint. And now for the High King himself. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for Thorgrim Grudgebearer. Do, 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 do. You, you are not standing up. No, anyway, there he is. The king himself with the big book of grudges. I mean, look at the detail on that binding. Very nice. Now we turn the book over and you can see there's a bookmark in there. And the pages of the grudges. All the grudges the king had to remember and make sure every time a grudge was fulfilled, he'd check it off in the book. The book of grudges. So there he is in all his glory. And that, dear friends, will bring us to the end of a review of High King Thorgrim Grudgebearer. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box, where we got to look at Thorgrim Grudgebearer. In case you're wondering why this guy is stuck on here, uh, I've got two little daughters, and they stuck this sticker on there. It's one of their frozen characters. Sven, I think. Anyway, so, if you enjoy these videos, and you would like to make a contribution to our channel, there is one easy way to do this. And that is to click on my home page for YouTube and look in the banner along the top there for the little PayPal icon. Just give it a click and it'll lead you into doing the rest. And let's see if you would like to see some other unboxing videos that I've done in the past, please check them out here, here and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right over here and click the notification bell because if you do you can follow all of our unboxings and until next time may all your grudges be dwarfy